I was getting to a point where I was starting to give up. I know y'all are not going to listen to what I have to say. Y'all never do. And if y'all do, y'all disagree. And I know there is a certain person that is keep disliking of every video that I post. And she's very immature because I'm spreading the truth. While she's still spreading lies to people, pretending to be someone that she's not. All I'm doing is trying to encourage people to free their minds and spread the truth to people. So that way you can all free yourselves and not expect someone to come to save you. I know you all truly believe that I was, I was there. I used to believe that as well. As you all can see, these churches are just stealing from you. Stealing your money. Pretending that you had to go to church every Sunday. I told y'all before that church is basically a business. Just to make money. Just look at these churches. You cannot say that these churches are not made just to be a business. Religion and all. You have to think about it. The Creator doesn't have a religion. It's not a Christian. It's not any other religion at all. But Christians have went overboard of thinking that they are the chosen Christian religion. So basically what you're saying is that your religion is the chosen. Not saying that you are chosen. You're saying that your religion is chosen. That makes you the child of God because of your religion. So basically what you're saying is if you wasn't a Christian, you're not chosen. So you're saying you have to be a Christian in order to be cho chosen. His chosen people. Just think about that for a second. A lot of you don't think about that. You all think about what people are brushing into your faces every time you look on YouTube. All you see is the same stuff. What do they talk about as new on YouTube? The same people that you watch talk about the same thing. But they'll change it up a little bit. But they talk about the same stuff. There's nothing new under the sun. They talk about the same stuff. I talk about the same stuff as well because it's not getting to y'all heads. Y'all letting this corruption deceive you into thinking all these things, giving your money to people that don't deserve it. They're just basically stealing from you. Instead of using their own money, they want to use your money. And y'all don't see that these churches are robbing you, basically. Pretending that you're going to have a blessing coming your way if you get the money. When you don't get anything in return. You do all these things for the church, but the church don't do anything for you. But you all don't think about that. You all don't listen to me. I don't make any sense to you. You're too corrupted to even try to understand what I'm saying. Because they got y'all so brainwashed, you're not understanding anything I'm saying at all. It sounds like garbage to you when I talk to you. But when they talk to you about things that's going to happen that never does, the rapture's going to happen, you'll keep listening to it. You'll keep supporting the same people that's going to keep telling you the same thing that's never going to happen. Because they know it's not going to happen. So they have to keep telling lies to make it seem like it's going to happen. For instance, they say it's going to happen this year. They'll give you the one main thing to let you know that basically they're going to keep this up. They will say to you that God has delayed his plan. God delayed the rapture. They would keep telling you that every time they said they've been told, they would also say it's been delayed if it didn't happen. And they say this to you guys all the time. You see, the small things you all have to pay attention to, and you all don't pay attention. They are lying to you. You mean to tell me God is telling them everything, talks to them all the time, every day, 24-7? They can easily talk to God, but for some odd reason, everybody that wants to speak to him can't speak to him for some reason. But these random people on YouTube that just came out of nowhere, just mostly white people, 
not being racist, but it is, are coming down and saying that they talked to God, that they've been given a word to tell you about what he said to them to tell you. Why can't he tell you himself? Why do you have to go through someone else just to tell you something? It doesn't make any sense. What type of God would that be? What type of creator would that be to go through a person to tell you something when it's meant for you? If it was a personal thing, that means the creator is telling that person personal things about yourself and to let you know what that the creator said to that person to tell you. You don't think that's personal? That it should be between you and the creator? Of course y'all don't. Y'all believe in what these people are telling you. Y'all believe every word. Y'all believe everything they send to you. Without questioning anything. Y'all living in fear. Y'all choose to live in this. Every time I tell y'all the truth. Y'all don't comment on my videos no more. Y'all don't like my videos no more. I only get one like. And one dislike is the same person. I know who it is. I'm not stupid. But keep on disliking my video, it's okay. Y'all don't have to watch my videos, it's okay because someone knows will watch the video and will um, awaken from this crap that we live in. They will see that I'm telling the truth. They will see everything around them is plain, you know, is different. They, they will look at this earth in a different way from what y'all looking at it. They will understand exactly what I've been saying for the longest. Y'all support the wrong people instead of supporting the people that's trying to free your minds and tell you the truth. Y'all support Christian people and they know it. That's why Christian is coming everywhere on YouTube. You see Christians everywhere on YouTube talking about God and this and that. And they been given a word which they ain't been given anything. But them, well, that only the, word, the only word that, came, that they was given was what came out of their mouth. Their own mouth. It didn't come from no creator. It came out of their own mouth. What person do you know that literally talks to God and remember every word that he says, every single word of the five, ten minutes they've been talking, come back in their body out of their sleeping time or whatever and tell you everything that he said to them. I have told y'all before I had dreams, never heard a voice talking to me for hours never heard a voice talking to me for five minutes. I would hear things here and there. It would be two or three words and that's it. it. It don't be no full sentence of what he said. And also they would say that this is his word. No, it's their word. They are telling you what they want to tell you, what you want to hear basically. They're telling you what you want to hear that God is saying to that person to tell you but they're making up their own wording to encourage you to make you excited every year gain your hopes up every year just to keep you in that little system basically of control and to brainwash you into thinking that all this stuff is true just to give them money to support them and their channel so they can live off your money and be successful while you being poor trying to find help or trying to have support yourself you're supporting the wrong people on YouTube. You know, I don't understand. I post these heavenly pictures, but for some odd reason, a person that posts heavenly pictures but talk about God get a lot of attention than me telling you the truth and posting the same pictures that the other person is posting but telling you lies and I'm telling you the truth. They're just brainwashing you with the Bible saying that God told them this and told them that every time they have a dream, every day they have something, every few weeks they will say that God says them to them, or they have communication with the heavenlies or the Lord or the Creator, and y'all believe everything they send. Have I ever came on here and told y'all guys that the, the God told me this, the Creator told me that, I was told this about the Creator, change y'all lives, do this and do that. Have I ever came on here and tell y'all that? Of course not. I've told y'all dreams that I've been having. That basically dreams are basically your past lives or, your, or it's, it's an event that's going on at that moment. But in a spiritual way. 
or is a future that's going to happen. But it's not always a future thing. Mostly what you have of your dreams, most of your dreams is basically your past lives and y'all don't realize that. That's why when y'all come on YouTube, y'all Christians, I always say y'all seen this in your dream. That's not what's going on at the moment. It's not going to happen at the moment that you're seeing. That's basically a past life that has happened. This earth has been here longer than you think, as in what I mean is, this reset has been happening for a very long time. What happened before has will happen again. This isn't the first time anything happened, floods, whatever. However the earth end and reset itself is going to probably end the same way or in a different way. All these events that's going on is made by man, it's not God doing these things. It's man doing all these things that's going on. If y'all truly believe that there is no evil that's in control of everything, you are very mistaken and misled because just think about it, you're living in the earth of corruption. Everybody is corrupted basically. They love evil things. Where is God stopping us? Why is he not doing anything? Just think about what I'm saying. Why is God not stopping anything that's going on on this earth? Y'all pray every day but nothing's been going on. Nothing, nothing good has happened yet. The earth is getting worse instead of getting better. You people are not making things better because you're accepting evil things. You're promoting these people that bring you evil things. You're supporting them and their items and their music. You're supporting these bad people. That's why the earth is messed up. Because of your support for evil, bad things. You basically, it is fun to you. So basically, living in fear is fun to you. Living in a place where you're always hearing gunshots is fun to you. Worrying about your child going outside is fun to you. Worrying about your own life when you go take a walk around the block is fun to you. Being with somebody that's in control of your life is fun to you in a relationship. Having a man or woman that just want to have sex with you and not be serious with you is fun to you. Taking advantage of you is fun to you. That's what you all like. You all accept these things because it's fun to you. I don't understand you people. That's why I said I'm alone on this earth. To be honest, I don't know any one of you. I feel I don't know near one of you. Even though I'm making these videos for y'all, I don't know near one of y'all. Because y'all on a lower level. Y'all on like a child's level. But in a corrupted child level, basically. Y'all corrupted child children. Because y'all act like children. That's why I said children. Level. You act like a child, but you're corrupted at the same time. You people are not mature. You're ch children in an older body. And corrupted on top of it because you act like a child. All these things that's going on, you act like children that don't think. You just do whatever you want to do. You, you, you don't think. You think everything is a game. You think things, this life is fun. And it's sad that I have to live in this every day, constantly. I have to blend in with you all. I had to pretend I'm on your level. But I shouldn't have to. I've lost so many people because of what I speak of. Only so few believe what I say. And only so few people listen and take in what I say seriously. But everybody else, 90%, don't care. They want to hear about church. They want to go to church every Sunday and spend all their money. Getting no blessings at all. Don't know what blessing actually means. You only been told what blessings mean by the dictionary or man. You don't know what blessings mean. Just like when you say bless you, what, what, if, if blessings is a good thing, 
if you're blessing someone for if you're blessing someone why say bless you you're blessing that person to sneeze just think about that y'all don't even think about that when you say bless you or god bless you for sneezing y'all sound stupid just think about what you say you, you, you all don't even realize what you've been saying when you say god bless you for sneezing Hachu, God bless you. Uh, for sneezing? You know, I never thought about that. Just think about it. It sounds stupid to say God bless you when someone sneezes. They making y'all look so stupid. They already got you all in a system of control in the first place, and then they want to make y'all even dumber by giving you this religion to keep you dumb down even more. It's really sad to see my people like this. It really is. I have to be alone on this earth. I have to trust only myself. I have to be my own friend. <laughs> I'm not going to find love here because there is any. There's no love here at all. It's only fake love or confused love or pretend love. That's all there is here. There is no actual true love here. Not for me at that matter. It's for other people, but not me because I'm awakened. By me being awake, I'm losing people. I'm losing women that probably was meant to be for me, but if they hear this video, they're going to think I'm crazy because they don't want to believe it, even though it's right in everybody's faces. It's in everybody's face. I'm just happy I'm not stupid. I'm happy I'm not dumbed down. I'm happy that I'm awake and not asleep. I'm happy that I am who I am and who I became to be instead of being in this world that I used to be in. I'm not considered in this world. I'm just pretending to be because I have no choice because I'm here and surrounded by people that's asleep and don't want to wake up. I love you all.